Hey Aquarius, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your March 2023 tarot reading, monthly tarot reading and prediction, what and who is coming your way. So keep an open mind, this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading, everything is given in the description box. Be careful from the scammers and fake accounts. I will never approach you, I will never contact you. They are scammers, um, so be careful. Let's start the reading. You can switch the energies if you're cross watcher, sun, moon, rising, any placements in Aquarius, you can watch this reading. Let's go Aquarius. What's happening for you? What's coming your way in the month of March 23? Okay, already. We have the five of pentacles. What happened? Five of cups. Oh my God. Feeling left out in the cold. Um, ten of cups. Saturn is leaving um, Aquarius. Okay. So... Could be this is the effect of it some of you you could be coming out of your sarsati i'm feeling yeah look at this six of swords you're moving forward obviously letting the past go any family any um relationship issues family issues um uh, whatever okay that you have been um going through it in in your sarsati i think um finally i think you are improving you're moving forward um that's what i'm saying you maybe lost something, lost someone, speci especially in someone from your family, someone who very close to you, someone who was just like your family. Um, it could be anything, okay? Uh, and also it could be you lost a relationship that you have been uh, dealing with for a long time. Some of you, it could be early childhood, like you were being together with this person and suddenly just everything gone in a separate ways. We have the sun. You could be dealing with Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Leo. This is your seventh house. So... I think this is definitely talking about relationships or any type of a partnership with anyone. Like 7,000 is not just romantic relationship. It could be any type of relationship like your family, your friends, co workers, um, co-workers, like people underworking you. Uh, you definitely lost something. Um, now we have a three of swords. Yes. You could be feeling um, lost right now or you could be coming out of this phase. Again, six of swords. There's something healing going on. I think I should take it. Yeah, six of swords. There's definitely some type of a big change coming in your perspective. Um, you could be freeing yourself from something that's not serving you anymore. You're not holding on to something. Um, yeah, I think you could be letting go of someone or something that's, yeah, death. You definitely maybe experience the death of someone very close to you. And it was really heartbreaking. It was really painful for you and for your family. It was like, it, it, it looked like you were suffering from this pain of this person. The, you know, could be a diseased one, someone who is really close to you, like your parents, child, friend, lover, husband, wife, I don't know. Yeah, you lost someone. And, and it was really painful. I can understand that. But this was meant to happen with the death and rebirth because this is the part of life. Um, but the, I'm hearing the, the journey must go on, right? Um, the show must go on. It's not over yet with the six of swords. So yeah, you could be recovering from something like that you lost. A breakup, separation. Uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I think you could be now looking up to your future, looking up to something that... I'm, I'm definitely not seeing that someone is coming back. I don't think so. With the Two of Cups, bottom of the deck, you're looking up to now your future. You want to see that who is your future, who is in your future, who is your soulmate, who is your twin flame, who is the person that you're going to end up with. And, and, and it's speaking up. Look at this. Oh, my God. That Yeah, this is the love of your life. So you're waiting for someone you know your partner your divine counterpart your husband your wife someone that you can create family with you can build family with um two of cups and lovers definitely is the love of your life i was speaking up here so yes uh, we also have the hangman you did not know this person yet or you did not met them yet um with the hangman or let's say this could be someone that um you met them okay like some of you you maybe already know who this person is because i'm seeing king of wands bottom of the deck again yes the leo energy very prominent this is your seventh house we also have the Queen of Wands. So yeah, couple here. We have a divine couple, King and Queen of Wands with the Sun. Wow, definitely a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, could be Pisces, could be Scorpio that you're connecting with. Could be Gemini, uh, could be any water sign, okay? 
it does not have to be but right now things are not working okay this could be someone that you had a breakup with you had a separation with but i'm seeing that you're coming back together but if this time you're not just coming back together you are just this person is coming with something big like solid offer to you like this person want to marry you or this person want to settle down now for some of you i'm not saying this is like you're going back to your ex or past um it's like your end is over you know, you know, the relationship is over with the death card. This could be, um, you know, like you, you, you could be coming out of a separation, let's say. You could be coming out of a marriage, divorce, right? You are over. You are done that. Wheel of fortune. Uh, with the wheel and death of uh, death, it's definitely talk about karmic cycles are ended between you and this person. The karma, the card, everything is over between you and this person, whoever it is. So I, I strongly feel you ended the karmic cycle with this person. There was a completion. And now two of wands, I think that you're now moving forward with the six of swords and two of, um, two of wands moving forward to see basically where future is taking you, um, where you can be with. And I'm strongly feeling that you're waiting for your divine counterpart, your soulmate, your, the love of your life, your twin flame. You have this soulmate and twin flame. And I think this person is definitely out there in the world also yearning for you, waiting for you. And others of you, I think you already met them, okay? So you could be coming into union with this person after going through this huge, big breakup in your life. Like after this separation, painful ending, miserable energy, feeling lonely, feeling lost without this person. And finally, you're going to meet this person. Some of you, I feel like why I'm seeing that you both have maybe same history. Like you both gone through the same experience. When you will come together in a union, you will be like, whoa, this is... I think you're the perfect match for each other. King and Queen of Wands, definitely perfect match for each other. This person could be already have eyes on you. I'm not going to lie. This person already maybe have eyes on you. And and you are you may be focusing on your healing, but this person is going to, I think, surprise you with their feelings, with their emotions or confession. This could be someone who lives far from you. Maybe that's why they're looking at you. They're watching you. They're stalking you. Or let's say, not in a creepy way, they're interested in you. So they maybe fell for you. Because I'm seeing there's a distance here between you and this person. This could be someone that you don't know yet, okay? So I'm seeing that you will meet this person in the in the future with a hangman, okay? You have no idea who this person is, but you have someone that you're going to create a family with. You're going to live together. Maybe after marriage or maybe um, you, you're going to move into this person's country or they're going to move into your country because I'm definitely seeing a big move, a relocation. But this could be also talking about letting the past go and coming together. Two of Cups and Lovers, definitely. You maybe have a choice between two people, like someone from your past or, or this person, whoever is coming. This person is, um, if you are not going through this painful separation or endings, maybe this person is coming out of a big breakup or ending or feeling lost, feeling lonely. And suddenly when they will meet you, it's like, wow, we're together. We're clicking up together. If you're moving forward, I can see that your ex is definitely checking on you, watching you. They're feeling lost without you. They're missing you. They're thinking about you. They want to reconcile with you, but it's up to you. So I'm strongly feeling that this is not your energy. You're moving forward. You're not going back to your ex or past. Let's say if this person is also coming back to you, but it's like, yeah, I'm strongly feeling there's someone who's feeling heartbroken over you or, or this separation or this ending. I think you both gone through a heartbreak. This is that person, I think, that you both are, you both cried over each other. This person is crying over you. They're feeling heartbroken with this separation, with this pain. They don't want you to leave. They want to come back. And this time when they're coming back, I think they want to give you everything that you want. Because you make them happy with the sun. You are their soulmate. They're recognizing. They're getting clarity. I also feel this could be someone that who is watching you and they fell for you. They never mean to fall in love, but they, oh my God, they are in love. This could be strongly Leo energy here. But someone is feeling heartbroken and I feel this is your ex. But if you're feeling heartbroken, this is someone who's coming, okay, and I think you both are going to fall in love. Because I'm seeing that. Look at this, two of wands. A lot of you, you're looking up to your future. You're not looking back to the past. Uh, we have a hands of cards. Yeah, you have options. You have choices. So you're going to choose who you want to be with. This person wants to take a risk over this connection. Maybe it's a big risk for this person with a sign card. They could be somehow, um, they have to move into your country or your place. Um, they could have some type of a repetition, so they could be they, they could be afraid that um, whatever they have, you know, they're going to lose it. This person could be a gambler. Um, you could be a card reader. This person could be a card reader. There's something with the intuitions, tarot readings, esoteric things. You do that, or maybe this person. Yeah, we have a lightning. Yeah, unexpected change coming in this relationship. We also have seduction. This person thinks that you're trying to seduce them, or... 
with the seduction and lighting i think this person is very very attracted to you you definitely have a secret admirer i'm picking up aquarius you have someone who is definitely seductive um, by your energy um, this person turned on by you this person think that you are the one this person maybe want to take you out um, with the seduction energy this person is physically attracted to you this person think that you are the perfect match especially if this is a fire sign or air sign healing heart yeah this is you you're healing your heart this person definitely broke your heart and you could be right now mirroring each other whoever this secret admirer is. maybe you like this person too but i don't think so you are talking to each other so you could be mirroring this person also like the person who broke your heart is break is is like the tables are turned now what i'm hearing now their heart is broken and they're seeing you moving away walking away slipping away from their life but they don't want you to leave they don't want you you maybe have a choice between two people i'm strongly feeling that Someone coming from your past and you also have a new person who's keeping an eye on you. Yeah, we have abundance. This is what you're focusing on right now with the sun and abundance. And I feel this is the same energy. You can see that. Look at this. The same. You're feeling abundant, happy, satisfied in your life. Freeing yourself from something that's not serving you, right? You're working on your soul chakra. Um, you're working on your chakras, healing yourself with the abundance. You could be attracting a lot of abundance. You could be getting popular. You could be getting success here. Um... And I think that there's also a lot of money coming in your life. You're going to be get popular. I'm strongly feeling, especially if you are working on something, a big project or it's like a lottery with the wheel of fortune and the sun. It's like you could be getting viral. You could be getting popular or successful or this person could be popular and successful coming into your life. So people are going to see that this is like you're getting like there's something I'm hearing that um, you're winning lottery here. You're getting viral or there's something that all eyes on you. But you're also going to get abundant here because I'm seeing you have a lot of options coming your way. So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.